What's up guys, my name is Francis from Capoeira360. Since I released my video on how to make the basic stand position for Capoeira, which is called Cadeira or Chair, some people have been asking me, okay, this position is a bit hard, so tell me, how do you develop endurance for this Cadeira position? And another question that they ask me as well is that how do you make the cadera position without having a knee pain after all? So in this video I'm going to be showing you five exercises, conditioning exercises to do a better cadera position for capoeira. And at the end of the video I also have a bonus tip for you that is going to help you to open up your hips since this is quite important when, do, when you are doing this cadera position in capoeira. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's jump right into the training. Though our training for today is going to be focused on the upper legs, we shouldn't neglect the lower legs and since they are going to be participating in this workout it is just wise to warm them up and as well as uh, do some light stretching and actually anytime that you are working out your upper legs you should start warming up the lower legs doing a couple of calf rises and stretching and this is going to help you to avoid future knee pain so once you warm up and stretch your lower legs you are ready to start with your upper leg exercises Now the first one is called wall squat and for this one you have to lean your back against a wall put your hands on the hips and you can have your knees at a 45 degrees angle or you can also put your knees together in front of you now keep your chest up and your lower back straight once you are in this position and you feel comfortable enough try to hold it up for 30 seconds at the beginning and then with the time you can increase the time
Now the next exercise is called the box squat. Now for this exercise you can use whether a chair or a box and to start with place your feet wider slightly wider than your shoulders and make sure that whenever you're going down you are using the edge of the chair now similar to the previous exercise when you're doing the box squat always make sure that you have your chest rise up and your lower back is straight at all time place your arms in front of you and this is going to help you to improve the balance when you're going up and down and when you're going down do it smoothly so you have a soft landing at the edge of the surface that you are using and you are not hitting the lower back and avoid future pain now once this exercise has become easier for you add a light jump to it so it can become a bit more dynamic and always remember to have a soft landing when you are going down And now we're gonna be doing the sumo squat. To do the sumo squat, cross your arm in front of you, rise up your chest, keep your lower back straight, half your knees at a 45 degree angle, and go down slowly as if you were sitting down on that chair you were using previously. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the lower you go with the sumo squat, the more difficult it will be. And if you feel strong enough, you can of course lower down until you go into full squat position. But if what you're missing is the balance, one of the things that will help you is to stretch your arms in front of you so you can make kind of a counterbalance whenever you go down. And now it is time for the bonus. Some people have told me during the classes, hey, I'm strong enough, I have balance, but my problem is that every time that I'm going down, I feel the pain of the stretch in my hips. So what can I do to improve that? And for that, my friend, I have a solution for you. One of the best exercises to open up your hips and stretch them is the transition from crab position into a full squat. So start with the crab positions with your hands on the floor, 
fingers look into the front slowly bring your hands closer to your hips and once they are there then try transitioning into a full squat position and at the same time stretch your arms to the front to make a counterbalance once you are in that position Try to move slowly to one side and another to open up a bit your hips and go back to the crab position. Repeat this movement a couple of times so you can stretch your hips, build the strength and balance necessary to make your perfect squat position and feel comfortable in the cadera position in capoeira. And without further ado, follow along these exercises. Keep it on training and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Have you tried these exercises before? Do they help you out? Do you need a program to follow? I have a cool program based on a squat it's a 30 day challenge and if you want just let me know in the comments and, I, and I'll send it to you and I guarantee you that by the end of those 30 days you will feel no pain when you're doing your cadera position or squat position when doing capoeira. If you like this video click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any training. Ashe.